Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have Hotel, but I'm going to butcher this, Magnifico. I can never pronounce that word, but I still want to pronounce that word right. This is by Emily J. Taylor. I got this book from Alcrate. I wanted to read this book from other book boxes that we had in it, but obviously I could not But when I found out that Alcrate was actually having this book in their one of their boxes, I was like, yes, I need to have it. I, it just sounded so interesting. It was right up the alley. And I love a whole concept of this magical hotel that can basically, like, you can use magic um, at free will, but there is a little secret inside that one girl finds out. And it is different. This is the cover of the book. It is literally so beautiful. This is the Alcrate edition. So here is the end papers. They're both like this side, both sides, and they have like a shimmery space. We do have a author letter, which I love reading them after reading the book. Then we have our detailed book on the cover, which is amazing, Feral Treasure. And then we have the whole design book art. These are so beautiful. I love reading these as well. So this book was definitely something. Let's read the blurb, shall we? All her life, Jenny has dreamed of elsewhere. Barely scraping by with a job at a tannery, she resigned to her dreamy life in the port town of Doric. Caring for her younger sister, Zoa, Zosa? I hope I'm saying that right. That is, until the legendary hotel, something, appears in town. This hotel is famous for its astonishing enchantments, especially its ability to travel the world, arriving at new the new destination each midnight. So Jenny and Zosa seized the chance uh, to join this hotel staff and they soon swept in the world of sparkling chandeliers and impossible magic. But it's not long before Jenny discovers that beneath it, its, its marvellous glamour is the hotel's hiding a danger secret. With a fixedly handsome doorman, Belle, as her only ally, Jenny embarks on a mission to unravel the mystery of magic with the heart of the hotel and free Zoa and the other staff. And from this cruel to the ruthless motel, the hotel... Sorry, I butchered that one. To succeed, she will have to risk everything she loves but fail. It means with a fate far worse than would never return in home. So her sister, so uh, um, basically they both went to this hotel to see if they can get in. Um, she went into the cesspit and basically got told to move it. And she basically got let go, so she didn't pass to the next part. Her sister goes in, does a bit more than what she would do, sings, and they're like, yes, we want you, you're hired. And she was like, oh, you never never have anything for me. She's like, I'm your big sister. What do you expect of me? We're not going to do anything alone. We're going to do this together. So <laughs> Jenny uh, does try and find a way to get into the hotel to see her sister again. Um, but for some reason, they're not allowing her to see her. She barely gets to see her at all. Well. This Bell um, guy, he basically is very lovely. At first, he's like this torment guy he like torments her like you can't come in you have to have an invitation or something like that she's like i am not leaving here until oh, she's like i'm not going until you give me a job okay i'm not leaving here without my sister and i was like oh my god yes this is what we're looking for so she's loved her sister so much that she's willing to try and get a job into this hotel to see why she's not allowed to see alone and see her sister her sister had quite quite a contract to make sure that uh, basically they gave her um, a truth um, um, stuff, what's it called, in a vial, like the truth vial, to make her spill over the truth, and that's why they know much more about her than normal, um, <clears throat> which that's basically their job, they were truths, yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's how they know a bit more than usual, but um, she tries to find some way to get into this so she does get away bell lets her in and becomes kind of like a maid almost and she does everything she can to try and see her sister but for some reason they're not quite letting her do it this hotel is legendary but not only from its whimsical enchantments but also for its ability to travel like i said different destinations every morning while jenny and zosa can't afford the exorbitant cost of the guest's stay they get interviewed during the staff as soon away, they whisk away in the greatest event of their lives, as they thought. So Jenny quickly discovers their contracts are unbreakable and that beneath the marvellous glamour, the hotel is a hidden danger secret. With all this vexedly handsome doorman Belle as, he's, as her only ally, 
Jenny Barton managed to unravel the first mystery of the magic of the heart of the hotel and free her sister and the other staff, but it could hurt her more. The fancy world in of this hotel is just dis- dis- decent and glorious Kagan from every wind is an environment where glamorous meets magic and the end result is brilliant, imaginative, melting pot of luxury and charmings. I feel like I haven't read for a while, um, but then obviously I've got back into this. I did stop halfway and then think so I don't have time to much because if I read the book too quickly, I will forget about the book and then I have to reread the book again which I don't want to try and do that just yet I have a lot of books to read and I want to get through them as quickly as possible so Jenny is the main character a dogged young woman determined to make her life better for her sister and herself she has devoted so much to her sister that she seems like she is blind to the dangers of her siblings when they enter the hotel Jenny quickly realizes that it's not all as it seems so Jenny delivers a relationship with Belle and her magic new colleague is pretty beautiful written with just the right balance of ma- well, the right balance of written attraction and intrigue and Belle certainly is an intriguing character again always not as it seems this is a really enjoyable read i enjoyed it a lot um i did flew through the story quite quickly and um, that's why i got through halfway and then i had to stop because before i would fly through the book i did want to read it so badly that i was like no i can't i need to read it the day where i can have enough time to finish it and uh, record it There's a large cast of supporting characters, both friends and foe, and this helps to add another dimension to the central plotline. But my only question is that Gizo, um has a little sister, Zoza, I haven't said that right again, is not a very developed character. Once their sister's um, in its world, its world, the hotel, her sister quickly fades down, like, away from the background, so she's not as in it as much anymore. Um, so for that opportunity to, um, that opportunity to deliver the relationship further was missed. Because it was also, also an almost as huge as a plot a point a plot point and a character on her own. Right, so luckily Jenny makes up for Zoe's uh, own lack of personality as she is such a strong and well defined character. I literally cannot wait to read other books from this author. I really enjoyed it and it's quite the quite the development of what's going on. And I am trying to go through more of in magical more books. So leave a comment down below guys if you have any book reviews that you would like me to go and read because I need to get my books up. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.